Hi guys, welcome back to Mars Game Fast Paper by Susan Hira channel. Today we're going to discuss English Stage 8 is Paper 2 Fiction from the year 2022 for Cambridge Lower Secondary Progression Test. On the left side is the inserts of the reading, on the right side is the question paper. And the duration for this test is 1 or 10 minutes. For the log is 50 and this is divided into section A. The reading we span 30 minutes in section A. This is for question 1 till 11. And this is question 2. This is question 3, 4, 5, 6. Little 6 and 7. And this is question 8, 9, 10. And this is question 11. And for Section B is writing. We spend 3 minutes. Question 12, we have to write something. And this is the space for uh, writing. So you can plan your writing and also uh, 2 full pages. So for writing, you'll be given 2 full pages to write your response. And let's cover up another 30 minutes. So section A, 30 minutes. Section B, writing 30 minutes and 10 minutes is for reading the text. So what's the first thing we should do is to skim the text really quickly to understand the subject and what's going on and can underline important words and you can also skim the question really quickly from question 1 till 11 like to get to know what is the question which what part of speech hyphenated word so keep in mind we have to find a hyphenated word in 1a exclamation mark the boy's attitude toward the beast head so fearlessly now we get the idea of what the question is and keep in mind so when we read the text we can get connect to it why does the writer use a dash line line 10 lines 11 technique and then how the boys feel so this story is about the boys we don't read the text yet but sorry so we get to know the story from the question itself the boy tell the reader the beast voice and build tension and pauses at the end literary techniques and the voice is unheroic so quotation and then the bull the clause of the game digging into the flesh of the here and now in lines 43 to 44 so phoenix is a name of the boy and phoenix father is pleased with himself so this story about a boy named phoenix in a game now let's get started. So let's read the text now. Five minutes. Together. Okay, single sentence paragraph. Oh my, next. Next paragraph. Next 
single sentence paragraph. Another single sentence paragraph. If you want to screenshot and print it out for practice, you may do so. Okay, hold me. The boy ran away. Next page, so this is a, the first page. And let me zoom out if you want to screenshot and print it out. Here is chapter one. Here we go. Uh, this is here. So it has to be two page. Chapter one. This is step to run up to line 21 and this is from line 21 up to the end. Our second page is uh, page 3 is continuation of chapter 1. Okay, let's continue. Next, chapter 2. Phoenix. This is a guy. Now he's dead. Appears in the story. Right next. This is the end. Right at the end of the story. Now, have you taken a screenshot? If you want to print out and use it for practice. This is line 35 up to line 50, and this is line 51 till the end let's get started with the question guys question 1 read the text in the insert and answer question 11 to 1 till 11 look at lines 1 till 9 let's go back to line 1 till 9 here we go 1 till 9 and uh, what part of speech are hyphenated words tick one box here you go, hyphenated word is mud splattered and also bull like. So it's uh, shaded in yellow. It was bull like. It had a swinging tail and mud splattered who. So what is it? Is it compound nouns, possessive adjective, compound adjective, or concrete nouns? We got uh, 10 seconds from now. Ok, 
Okay, let's take a look at the answer, guys. So it's a uh, compound adjective. Let's take a look of the expansion of each of these compounds nouns. So this is it adjective? Compound adjectives and concrete nouns. What is? It? Okay, so our answer for question number one is compound adjectives. It was bull-like. It was bull-like and much splattered hooves. Let's take a look of what are those. So, uh, compound adjectives are adjectives that containing two or more words. Example, a five-star restaurant. So, a restaurant that have a five-star rating. Old-fashioned clothes, meaning clothes from an older fashion. Good-looking dog. A dog that looks good. So those are compound adjectives. Now let's take a look of what is possessive adjective. Possessive adjective is to show possession. Like I become my, you become your, he become his, she become her, it become its, we become our, you become your, they become their. Example my back my book your book and so on now let's take a look of compound noun and concrete noun compound noun compound nouns are nouns that consist of two or more words there are three types closed form open form and hyphenated form closed form like firefly, housefly, catwalk, notebook, and downtown. Open form uh, example post office, blood pressure. Hyphenated form example son in law, three years old. So those are compound nouns. Next, concrete nouns. So noun actually is divided into common and proper nouns. Common nouns is again divided into concrete and abstract. Concrete is the noun that can be touched or seen, while abstract is most of uh, ideas, emotion, and concept. So example of concrete noun is dentist, able, dark and school. Abstract noun, love, fear, freedom, and time. So concrete noun can be detected and can be felt with our five senses. These are the examples for concrete nouns. So I hope it's clear. Let's move on to second question. So, uh, second question is 1B. Look at the exclamation mark. So look at the exclamation mark. So what does it tell the reader about the boy's attitude to the beast head? So here we go. A what a hat and with exclamation marks. What does it tell the reader about the boy's attitude to the beast head? So 10 seconds from now. If you have not finished, you may pause this video if you still need time to get your answer. So let's check the answer and discussion. So the answer is the boy was shocked. The boy was shocked. So that is the example of correct answer. If you have any other possible answer, you may write down in the comment section. And anything related to shock like fear also will be okay. Alright, next let's move on to question uh, 1C. Question 1C give one word that means fearlessly. So fearlessly uh, still 
get the answer from line 1 till 9 because this is still question 1 so fearlessly we have to see in here uh, from line 1 up to 9 find the answer okay 10 seconds Alright, let's open up the answer guys. So it's unflinchingly. So it's in here. That means fearlessly. So there's no other answer for this one. This is the only answer. Okay. Uh, if you answer other word than this, it's going to be wrong. Let's move on to... Uh, question 2 that is line 10 till 15 line 10 till 15 is from here this is line 10 you can see from the number line 10 and then 15 here so let's take a look of that 10 till 15 okay question 2 uh, look at lines 10 till 15. Why does the writer use a dash in line 10? A dash here in line 10, alright? Alright, 10 seconds from now. Okay, let's take a look at the answer. If you have not finished, you may pause this video. So number two, uh, the answer is a to show. To show the speech has been interrupted. So in here we can see, oh my, the speech has been interrupted. So that uh, is the example of correct answer. Uh, you may also say the speech is unfinished. Well, let's take a look of a uh, the function of dash. Dash is used when you want to uh, indicate a longer pause than a comma or a semicolon. That's function of dash. And another function for dash is uh, besides create a uh, create a break in sentence. Or halfway between, and also a sharp break between two sentences. So, example, the film was very informative. Dash. I learned a great deal. Another function uh, of dash is to mark out extra information embedded in a sentence, like playing in grandma's garden. Dash, which is huge. Dash is always good fun. All right. So that's the function of dash. Uh, Or you can also say the function of dash is to add an explanation between two sentences. This might be used in another story uh, or in other sentence. I didn't have any money, so I couldn't buy a ticket. So that is explanation. So there are many functions of dash. Uh, in this sentence, is to add explanation and then. Or to show a longer pause or a break between two sentences. So in here, the dash is to show uh, the interruption of the speech. All right, let's move on to question number three. I mean two A. So two A, two B. It says, look at lines eleven till twelve. Eleven till twelve. 11 to 12 is here 11 12 so this two line what literary technique is used in this sentence so uh, 10 seconds So 
these are the two lines that will be here all right time up guys let's ch check out the answers so the answer is a simile simile you can see here simile uh, it was as if his soul had crept out of his body and was tugging at him so the word in here as is to show simile so let's take a look of what is simile simile is a comparison between two different things simile use connecting words as and like another example is his she swims like a fish he is as hairy as gorilla okay let's move on now we are in a number 2c what does this sentence tell the reader about uh, how the boys feel so this sentence what are the sentence the sentence is a uh, it was as if his soul had crept out of his body and was tugging at him begging him to get away so I what does this sentence tell the reader about how the boys the boy feels okay let's check out the answer guys so the boy is frightened of course uh, it was as if his soul had crept out of his body oh the boy is terrified all right if you have any other possible answer please write down in comment section we we'll know it will be helpful for others now we are in question 3 look at line 16 till 22 20 21 22 a give one word that feel that tells the reader the beast boys was very loud 10 seconds right what is that one word let's open up the answer guys so the answer is bellow here bellow so that is the answer for number 3a gave a bellow that seemed to cross the air so it's a uh, really it was really loud it was very loud next let's move on now we are in a question 3b explain how the writer structures this section to build tension give two ways give two ways okay one two ten seconds from now still in the same section alright guys let's check out the answers okay so this is the example of correct answer uses longer paragraph for description and action here and second is short sentences for the boys speech I can't do this said the boys oh no alright that is the short sentences and uh, longer paragraph for description and action so this one here the bees began to stamp forward it hooves clashing on the stone floor it raised his head the horns scrapping on the ceiling and gave a bellow that seems to cross the air so that is the uh, longer paragraph for the description and action 
Besides that, you may have uh, other possible answer that is correct. Um, please write down in the comment section if you have any some some other idea. Who knows? It will be helpful for others. Let's move on to question four. Question four. Look at lines twenty four till twenty five. Twenty four till twenty five. Uh, 24 to 25 will be from here to here only what is the effect of the three clauses at the end of this sentence 10 seconds so these are three clauses 1, 2, 3 Alright, let's check out the answer, guys. So, it's to give extra detail of being impaled on the horns. So, that's the effect of that. A The answer for question 4. Okay, so, these are the three... Uh, Closes his legs paddling feebly in the air, his head snapped back, his eye growing pale and lifeless. Right? So, this tree closes is to show, uh, give some extra detail of being impaled on the horns. Oh, you may also say that it is to emphasize the horror of being impaled on the horns so uh, to give extra tale of himself impaled on the on those evil looking horns okay let's move on to question five question five look at lines 26 the pipe 26 here this is the line what literary technique is this 10 seconds Okay, let's check out the answer, guys. What is uh, alliteration? So skidding on the slimy floor, S and S. So that is alliteration. So what is alliteration? Alliteration is the use of same beginning, consonant noun sound in a line or verse like Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled paper. So that is. Alliteration P, 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 and P. In here is a S and S. Okay, let's move on. Look at lines 27 till 39. So, we start from here 27, help me. Till 29 is here, is 3 sentences. In what ways do you think the boy is unheroic? Give two reasons and support each reason with a quotation from the text. First reason and a quotation, second reason. Oh, okay, 10 seconds. Alright guys, so this is supposed to be 27 till 39, so 27 till 39 is uh, a long way down there, so this is a uh, 27 
30, 1, 2, 3, 4 so up to uh, there so the whole passage from 27 here to 39 we can let the answer to for question 6 so we can skim the text really quickly and then for reason and the quotation so there's a girl If you have not finished, you may pause this video. Let's open up the answer. Well, this is the example of the correct answers. Right, so he feels embarrassed. He feels embarrassed for 27. So uh, turn away from the girl in shame. So the quotation, turning his face away from the girl in shame here. Second reason is he refuses to fight despite the girl telling him to so the quotation is don't run fight you must fight don't run fight you must fight right so uh, that is the example of correct answer you may you you have another possible answer you may write down in the comment section okay Okay. Let's move on to question seven. Well, question seven. Uh, look at lines forty till forty-one. Forty till forty-one. So forty here, forty-one here. These two lines, all right? Two lines. Okay. So. What are the question? What does gulping tell the reader about how the boy feels now? Ten seconds. Alright, let's open up the answer guys. So he is relieved as he can breathe breathe freely. Gulping here. How the boys feels now. So these are the example of correct answer. If you have any other possible answer you may write down in the comment section. Let's move on to question eight. Okay, question eight. Look at this extract the clause of the game digging into the flash of the here and now in lines 43 and 44 here from here all right so what does this tell the reader take one box the bull has injured him phoenix kept scratching himself the score bracelet is too tight. Phoenix is still thinking about the game. So, 10 seconds. Alright, so let's check out the answer, guys. So, uh, Phoenix is still thinking about the game. That is the meaning of this extract, this sentence. Alright, let's move on to question 9. Question 9. Question 9, look at lines 40, 48 up to 54. 48 up to 54. Up to 54 here. This section. Okay, 
How does the writer make Phoenix experience sound realistic? Give two explanations and support each explanation with a quotation from the text. So see from this section, guys. Okay, so now uh, let's check out the example of correct answer. So explanation one, how does the writer make, make Phoenix experience sounds realistic? Phoenix believed he was there, quotation one, it was really happening, I believe it. Okay, this one, it was really happening, I believe it. So, that is the quotation. Uh, two is the way of writer make Phoenix experience sound realistic. Second, the writer uses adverbs to emphasize that it felt real to Phoenix. Um, here we can see then... I actually came face to face with the Minotaur face to face with the Minotaur so I could actually t touch here I could actually touch so that is the adverb to emphasize that it felt real to Phoenix, right? So um, that is for question nine. All right, now let's move on to question ten. Look at lines fifty-five till sixty-four. Fifty-five till sixty-four. So it will be from here up to sixty-one, two, three, four. Sixty-one, two, three, four. So until the end here. So 55 till the end. Right now, Phoenix father is pleased with himself. Explain how the writer shows how the father feels. Give one way and support your answer using evidence from the text from here. Okay, you, you may uh, need some more time, you may pause this video. So let's take a look of the correct answer for this question. So a uh, look, uh, he finds pleasure in Phoenix response. Uh, evidence enjoying the mixture of excitement and fear in his son's voice here. Right, so that is how the father feels. Or you may as well say that because of this evidence, a uh, sophisticated piece of software, a uh, sophisticated piece of hardware, so. Phoenix's father is proud of technology. Right? This is this is the evidence. And here. Uh, that is another possible answer. However, if you may have other possible answer, you may write down in comment section. Right, so number eleven. Look at line thirty-nine here. Thirty-nine. 
uh, explain why the writer starts a new chapter at that point in the text. New chapter, chapter two. Give two reasons. Ten seconds. Okay, let's take a look at the correct answer. If you have not finished, you may pause this video, guys. Okay, so... New chapter is chapter 2. Chapter 2 shows a change in setting from the tunnel to the study. Right, so... It's in the study room. Right, next is... Uh, okay, his father study. And then, chapter 2 shows a change in the pace from fast to slow. So... And here is a change of uh, pace, okay? Or you may also answer, so chapter 2 shows the change in Phoenix mood from fear in the tunnel, being chased by the uh, Minotaur, and then also to relieve in her his father's study, alright? Uh, we can see that uh, then his surrounding became reassuringly familiar as far as study. Right now, uh, that is question 11. Okay. Now we are in uh, question 12 is section B writing. We need 30 minutes for this section, so try to finish. Section A, reading comprehension in 30 minutes. So, uh, write the opening of a story that is set in an imaginary place. Create two characters who meet each other for the first time. Consider the following. What is the setting? For example, a strange building, a historic period, or an unusual town or landscape. Who are your characters? Why are they there? What happened? So, these are space for your plans and also two full pages for your response all right so the tips for a writing is don't write less than half pages or try to write at least one and one half pages content should be relevant use well developed language with good vocab paragraph should be well organized throughout the text of course you must use correct grammar punctuation and spelling so Today discussion is conducted by Study with Tuition Online. We cater for all this program and email us if you are interested to join with us and with our affordable online courses. These are all the syllabus that we offer. So, so today we have discussed English progression test stage eight. It's past paper 2022, paper two fiction for lower secondary. Check link in the description for other useful videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like and. YouTube channel Mark's Game Past Paper by Susan Hira. So bye bye and see you. We hope today's discussion will be helpful to you and God bless you.